<laughs> he did it. He did it. That's true. He did do it. The judge. All righty. So the application for President Biden's student loan forgiveness could open any day now. And borrowers, you want to make sure all questions are answered before you file, such as exactly who does and doesn't qualify. And is there a catch? That's right. This is where we bring in January Keaton. She spoke with a financial expert who answered some frequently asked questions about student loan debt forgiveness in tonight's education station. The debt is overwhelming. And a lot of people, including myself, feel like we'll never be able to, you know, get from get out from under it. President Biden's student loan debt relief will no doubt be a game changer for many as folks continue to feel the financial effects of inflation associated with the pandemic. It makes it impossible to be able to afford even some basic things like food or different, you know, new clothes if you need new clothes. I owe almost $55,000 in student loans. Federal student loan borrowers like Jason and Thurman, who make less than $125,000 a year, qualify for at least 10 grand of Biden's debt forgiveness. Pell Grant recipients up to 20 grand. But both men graduated from college over two decades ago. Do current college students qualify? You could be a student uh, in school still and have uh, some of your uh, student loans forgiven. As long as your loans were fully dispersed before July 1st of this year. Now, what about parents who took out federal loans for their kids? Do they qualify? Case Western Finance Professor Greg Harmon says yes. If they've done uh, a borrowing in addition to help pay for their children's student loans and qualify with the income levels through federal uh, programs like the Parent PLUS program. And if you've already paid off your student loans, are you eligible for forgiveness too? You are, but there's a catch. And if you only finished paying them off sometime after March 2020, you would get some of uh, your money back from the federal government on this. Meaning you would have had to or will have to pay off your student loans during the pandemic pause. That's between March of 2020 and the last day of this year. And one of the biggest questions folks want answered, will I have to pay for forgiveness somewhere down the line in taxes? The short answer, no. The federal government has already said that there is no federal tax associated with uh, the loan forgiveness. So it's as if uh, the $20,000 or the $10,000 that they give you is tax free. Be able to have this big chunk of money taken off of uh, this looming debt, like it, it's kept me up at night sometimes. Yeah, a lot of people know that feeling. Well, there are several states planning to apply state tax to the forgiveness money, and that's Michigan, Indiana, North Carolina, and Mississippi. Wisconsin, Arkansas, and California, they're also considering taxing Biden's student loan forgiveness money. Carmen. All right, January, you just said that it keeps him up at night. I know that feeling, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we all do. Yeah. Okay, thank you for your report. Mm -hmm.